The three-year pilot project is estimated at a total cost of U.S. $1,338,500 and is supported by the CARICOM Development Fund, CDF. The Young Entrepreneurs, Farmers and Fishers in Agriculture and Agribusiness Project, which is supported by the CARICOM Development Fund, is expected to put young people like poultry farmer Floyd Thomas and others in the sector at the center of government's transformational agenda, improving their livelihoods and significantly contributing to Grenada's food production and security. I do believe that if we work in unison as a collective body, we can achieve much. I will like to see that Grenada is one of the leading economies in the Caribbean amongst its peers with regards to smaller islands like Bar Barbados, St. Lucia, St. Vincent, um, Dominica, etc. I do believe that we have all that it takes to do our very best. But like I said, we need to work as a team, as a collective body, to realize our full potential. Thomas was speaking at the launch of the project in St. David on Friday, where the ministry and key stakeholders outlined the initiatives that are included in this project. The Young Entrepreneurs, Farmers and Fishers in Agriculture and Agribusiness Project aligns to Grenada's National Sustainable Development Plan 2030 to 2035, which aims to put people at the center of sustainable development and transformation, support a vibrant, dynamic, competitive economy with climate and disaster resilient structures, and environmental sustainability and security. The project, according to Honorable Lennox Andrew, Minister for Economic Development, Planning, Tourism, ICT, the Creative Economy, Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and cooperatives will create conditions for increased national production. What this project seeks to do is to create the conditions for an increase in national production of goods and services related to the agricultural sector. The more output we produce is the more GDP we have and the more food and services that become available to us. This project, it has macroeconomic, as the economists would say, macroeconomic significance. But more than that, there is something about GDP. And that something is that it gives us as a nation a sense of pride. Minister with Responsibility for Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives, Senator Adrian Thomas, says the Ministry of Agriculture aims to help farmers recognize agriculture as a lifetime investment. Our aim is to attract the youths and to enhance the perception of agriculture. The involvement of youths in agriculture will always result in increased employment, particularly in rural areas like here in St. David. It will result in increased productivity in the agricultural sector, since with youthful energy and numbers, we can look forward to a diversified sector. Modern farming practices, new varieties of crops, new breeds of animals, and ultimately, a reduction in rural urban migration and social problems. This youth in agriculture business project is expected to also enable our young people to see and appreciate agriculture as a commercial venture, a profitable business, and a lifetime investment. Lennox Ford, director of the Regional Development Division of the CDF, explains that the CDF became involved with the project in 2020 after they wrapped up a similar intervention in St. Lucia. The Young Entrepreneurs, Farmers and Fishers in Agriculture and Agribusiness Project is also geared at assisting participants in visualizing and promoting agriculture as a viable economic activity capable of increasing Grenada's food production and security. The Government of Grenada signed both grant and loan agreements with the CARICOM Development Fund for the project on May 3rd, 2022. The concessionary loan of uh, 500 uh, thousand will establish a credit facility 
to support graduates from the training as well as those who have existing businesses who wish to be entrepreneurs. Um, and they can borrow as individuals, of course, cooperatives or sole proprietors. The CDF sees its contribution as a pilot. So yes, project manager is absolutely correct. <laughs> once you do well, or once we do well, and we will do well, the CDF would be interested in returning uh, if the government requests um, us to do so and support the continuation of this project. The project includes capacity development for young farmers and agribusiness entrepreneurs. Project Officer Laurencia Augustine says the ministry is hopeful that 100 agricultural related businesses or enterprises will be established or improved through this youth in agriculture, fisheries and agribusiness project. It is our hope that the food import bill will be reduced through this project. And the exciting part is it's going to be our young people at the forefront of this. And it is our, our hope that youth unemployment will be reduced through this project. Local food production will be increased through this project. That food security will be improved through this project. The number of young people in the agricultural sector will be significantly increased and the, the beneficiaries will reinvest the profits to their businesses and expand their businesses and hire other young people. It is also our hope that this project will attract investors in agriculture because obviously the investors will see that we are taking our agriculture seriously and we have the workforce that is trained and we have our young people they are really active, they really want to provide services, they really want to produce food for our nation and also for export purposes. The Ministry of Agriculture and Lands, Fisheries and Cooperatives is the implementing agency of this project and will be working closely with the Ministry with responsibility for youth, sports and culture, the Grenada Development Bank, the Grenada National Training Agency and other stakeholders to implement this project. Collectively, the project aims to address export competitiveness for fresh and processed foods, as well as increase the agriculture sector's contribution to national food security. For the Ministry of Agriculture's Public Relations Unit, I am Mina Booker.